Hey guys, Vince here from the Gallatin Underground doing our Gallatin Underground show with my co-host. Aaron Redfire. And today we are here with Soul Anatomy. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, and uh, hear your first song, uh, yeah. Ashen Out the Window. Okay. Yeah. I know some of y'all out there smoking your car. You know how it goes, just ash it out. Yeah. Again, yeah. Ashing out the window. Yeah, yeah. Driving really real slow. Ashing out the, yeah, we ashing out the, out the, out the, out the, out the. Driving really real slow. Yeah. Ashing out the window to that blunt Turn it doobie My life not the movie or a clip you can trace Low life I've been living trying to fill in the space Long drives like a golf game Two in the race Spit truth till I'm blue in the face That's the real dog We your curving visions like a sitcom Sitcom Watch this masterpiece creation extends Every color in my palette and formation to blend I ain't never quite wolf on some bitch made Hella out the pocket like a switchblade Six days blowing the Dutch on the seven but we still loaded as fuck If you ain't rolling, you ain't rolling with us Keep that switcher in the dashboard Come and hoard it in a task force Pop, pop, crash course You gonna hang or you done Got you coughing like you losing the lung Second blunt, dog We done barely begun We in the clouds like we next to the sun Don't exaggerate Highlight the only style Always feeling adequate Zoning in and out of it But never I seize Blowing those like next to a P Yeah, yeah, yeah but never I see blow a nose like next to a bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, but never I see Yeah, never I. Ashing out the window. Yeah, yeah. Driving really real slow. Hey, come on, come on. Yeah, said we ashing out the window. Yeah, 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 yeah. Driving really real slow. So the anatomy. I just like to groove on this part. Y'all can groove too. <laughs> Shout out to Michael Madeline. The other half of Swollen Souls. Yeah. That was awesome. Hell yeah. So how did you get started rapping? Uh, so uh, when I was a kid, I gr actually grew up in the Bay Area, San Jose. Um, and I grew up with just cousins that used to rap and stuff like that. But there were no girl rappers or anything. Um, and I remember watching Lauryn Hill and Little Kim and Foxy and I MC Light and Queen Latifah and just being like, what the fuck? I want to do this, you know? Um, but when I got about the seventh grade, um, one of my older brothers, um, I heard him freestyle for the first time. And I mean, it was the dopest off the top of his head. And I just, I wanted to do that. And um, that kind of really just kickstarted it. And, and I've kind of been perfecting my craft ever since, you know? That's awesome. Um, so how long have you been rapping? Or, Shit. Or... <laughs> I've been, I mean, I've been rapping for years. I didn't really start rapping, rapping and, um, and doing shows and stuff like that until I actually moved to Montana, um, probably like five or six years ago. But in high school, I, I would just freestyle all the time. And um, and then um, I was actually in a group called Freedom. Um, when I lived in Southern California, I was about 18 or 19, but it wasn't, you know, we didn't do shows or anything. We just kind of sat in the studio for eight hours a day and, and just wrote a bunch of stuff. But I wasn't an actual, Artist yet, I, I didn't know who I was as an artist. I kind of just mimicked what I heard. Um, and I think when I got to Montana and 
um, uh, Nickel B, shout out Nickel B and uh, Buckshot, kind of took me under their wings and started putting me on shows and stuff. And um, that kind of just kind of kickstarted me just becoming an artist in my own, you know, yeah. my own. <laughs> so so you, you've really pushed yourself with the help of others around you mm -hmm. that you, you probably wouldn't have done it if there wasn't like you know, somebody just like, man, you, you are awesome at this. Yeah, you oh, definitely. I didn't have that kind of confidence um, in myself yet. Um, it was definitely learning when you get that confidence as a doing hip hop and stuff. It is kind of, don't get me wrong. It's like at least 50% skill, you know, but there's the other half of that is um, being confident, um, not necessarily cocky, but, but being able to hold your own. And when you, that was something that was told to me was you have this, you have the talent to do it. Um, but you need the confidence. And when you get that confidence, you're gonna it's gonna, you know, take you to the next level. And it took me a little while to do that, but once I got that confidence for sure. So I mean it's it's so much different than like playing in a band, you know, it, as a as a person that plays in a band, mm -hmm. you know, I, I get to stand behind all the rest of the guys. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, they get to make noise and do their things, but you know, if I fuck up, nobody's really noticing yeah. where, you know, you're like the sole highlight of the show and there's no band behind you no. you know you you fortunately know that the band is behind you is playing yeah, the music no, yeah. right <laughs> but uh you know you're you're basically doing it all so i mean the confidence thing's got to be like really huge it i mean and and being a female um hip-hop artist um you kind of have to especially in montana because when i first moved here um, there were no other girl artists, and um, the guys didn't. Res they didn't respect us. They didn't respect the girl artists at all. Um, and you know, it took years of me of doing a bunch of shows and having shitty times, and um, and just keeping in mind to myself that if I am the best, they cannot sleep on me. If I'm the best, and I I had to really just push myself and push myself and push myself until they 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 fucking listen. Um, um, and and so it and that kind of created my confidence as well. You know, it was, it was hanging with the guys. And, and not only just hanging with them, I had to be better than most of them. Yeah. You know, and, and that's that's really what took it to the next level for me, at least where people were requesting me on their shows and and people were willing to bring me out and stuff like that. And it was huge. It was huge for me, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's really crazy just think, to think of it like that because, you know, you, you, you're – had to prove all your peers mm -hmm. wrong, you know, that mm -hmm. they're like, oh, who is this person just coming up here thinking she can rap? Mm -hmm. And so you, you this, is, get on there this and is a be man's like, world, like, and you're like, no, this is not a man's world, and I can do what you do better. <laughs> exactly. That's cool. That's really cool. I but, think, uh, I want to say, I think that confidence is really deserved because you got, like, the sound that just blows me away because it sounds like so familiar to me, um, but it also sounds really unique. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I strive to stay in my own in my own lane, um, and I think as an artist in, in whatever genre that you're in, um, we have a we have a hard time just because we think that we're supposed to sound a certain way, not realizing that um, you you're naturally already original, um, you know, and you kind of ruin that for yourself when you try to sound like somebody else. And when you go to shows, like I love I love the hip hop the hip hop um, community out here, but. There are shows that you go to and everybody's mimicking the same style. So the ones that stand out to you are the ones who are doing their own thing naturally. And so, you know, I just always remembering to just stay true to myself and make the music that I want to hear and that I want to listen to and that I can be confident and, and proud of. Is that where the, the name Soul Anatomy comes from? Yeah, it's just, you know, like, I like to think that no matter what genre of music you like, like, I speak to your soul, you know, like, it's... And all music should be like that. And there's there's genres of music that I don't particularly listen to, but there are artists and songs in those genres that I'm like, oh my god, you know what I mean? Like, because it spoke to me, and that's what music should be. Yeah. Uh, so this next song is is called State of Mind. Yes, Do this you, is we're taking it old school. You want to talk about uh, talk about that a little bit? <laughs> so uh, State of Mind, I actually made years ago. This is one of the first songs that I, I recorded out here. And, um, I'm like I said, I'm from Cali, and this was my like, ooh, California. Um, so it's a little old school. So um, hope you guys dig it. Sweet. Well, uh, yeah, let, let's hear All it. All right. <laughs> yeah. I 
Yeah, yeah. Pass me the mic and I'll set it off. No Jay to pick it. Join the resistance. Using forces of trained militia. Here's you ready for war. I've been ready since born. Tactical battle for pawns. Practically lateral. Strategy a comparable. You're a problem that's variable and a favorite. The pedestal is equivalent. My tile won't benefit from dividends. Insidious materials and emptiness. No room to spare. Killing like every mic. Go here into the moon with you. Watch me shine, watch me shine, hustle grind, hustle grind, California, California, state of mind, repping that, fuck 08, fuck 8, two dub, 909, no lying, fake and pretend, if I broke this bitch, it's not this shit, ayy, hey. you can bang on soul, won't knock my pride, from day to night, I can seal it night, that'll cut your life for a sacrifice, not the dance old type, pull the handle, I'm the light at the end of the tunnel, play action instead of the huddle, with everybody, I love it some, hip hop is my life, my dream, I am, I'm spitting a plot, strictly of every thought I can cock, killing the masses. Genocide be with techniques, MCs fall back in orderly fashion. Clashing of the tight ends, David versus Goliath. You pebbles to colossal shit, take it no flight like ostriches. I'm confident my logic sits too far beyond the locket. On any scope of target, bitch, I'm TBM, not opera. A stoner slash philosophist like Socrates, a college. My operatives a lucrative solution, it go who's I live. I give 100%, 24-7 with lyrical shifts Every barbarian, burying like a cesarean Feminine niggas I hate Right at the gate, I hope it escalates to assist Be smoke, cause you holding no wrist It's never been nothing to throw at the fist So anatomy, bitch, hey. Watch me shine, watch me shine Hustle grind, hustle grind California, California State of mind, Fuck 08, fuck Two dub, no lie, you're fake and pretend If I wrote this bitch, you got it to eight Watch me shine, watch me shine, hustle grind, hustle grind, California, California, state of mind, step in that, fuck 08, fuck 2 dub, 909, no lying, fake and pretending, fundamentals extended, bare essentials replenished, my metamorphic logistics obtaining a graphic image, verbally it's simplistic, gradually momentum encounters a coward victim, encounters in ways of henchmen, carry the flaws evicting and following laws, but I'm hollow and harsh division. Dividing my social connection, proprietary directed with show. Various sexes and O's containing this treacherous flow. Whoa, man. Da da da. Yeah. And that was state of mind. <laughs> Damn, that was awesome. so awesome. That's so awesome, dude. Um, I appreciate that. I There's like lots of really cool lines in that one, which would you say is like your favorite like what you're the funnest <laughs> one in that Let's song see. to write oh man um i think i like the the henchman one just like how the switch up is and how i how i kind of write the beat um but i say about a million words in that song so it's, <laughs> it's hard to just think think like that like yeah so like speaking of a million words in your songs like i mean an I don't know. I think songs I write are <clears throat> super short, and uh -huh. probably very easy to remember. But w when you're trying to remember like massive amounts of lines like that, and you know, I, I guess from my experience, you know, most hip hop shows are usually like 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably a lot of why it was, it was because you have so much content that you have to mm -hmm. nail and remember. Um, how has that affected you and in, in in what you're doing? I, I actually have a weird, a really weird <laughs> um, ability to memorize. I just there's something with um, with words with a rhythm that I just have a really easily. I can easily remember stuff. Uh, that's why it sucks in the stupid Spotify commercials and all those things because I memorize everything. Um, and when I write a song, I actually memorize a song when I write it. Um, and so like when I go in the studio, it takes me about ten minutes to record a song. And everybody's nice. like, one hit wonder. I, I can do, you know what I mean? It's very cheap for me when I record because I just memorize everything. And I don't know why I'm like that. But just there's something with a word and a rhythm that it just stays in my head. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I can understand that a, a, a little. You know, you're. it's like listening to songs on the radio. Like the ones that stick just stick. Mm -hmm. Except 
with what you're creating, it all sticks because it's awesome, right? <laughs> You know what's funny is like a lot of stuff. I'll I'll write these. I'll write things, and then it's like after the song is dropped, I've listened to this song a million times. I'm just like, you listen, but you don't listen. And then like I'll listen to something, and I'm like, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> but I didn't actually I didn't actually know that I was. It was sounded that cool. I was just it just fit. You know what, yeah. what I was doing. So yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, so. What what do you have out in the way of music right now that uh, other people can check out? Um, so I do have a couple videos on um, on YouTube. Um, I have a, an album that I released some years ago, um, Soul Anatomy, um, Days of Extinction. Um, and actually, in a couple of months, I have my new my new solo project coming out, um, MC on the Edge, um, produced by uh, my homeboy Patch Williams, and um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, my content on the internet is, I guess, it's not really. A whole hell of a lot. I'm getting better. Um, I have a lot of features done. If you go and look up uh, my buddy A Trip, I have um, features on his project. Um, my homeboy Vadi the God, um, I have features on there. Buckshot I got. Um, uh, my homeboy uh, Twizzy. Like I have a lot of features out, um, but there's definitely going to be a lot of Soul Anatomy content in the next couple of uh, months. So. Sweet. So not so much out right now, but everything's coming. Yeah, it's so coming. You're gonna hit hit the world running. Yeah. That's Ow. awesome. <laughs> like let's get out of this COVID thing and you're just gonna go with it. Exactly. That's cool. What's next? Oh, the next song. Right. Yeah. I wanna hear it. <laughs> uh the next song we got is uh called Keep Burning. Keep Burning. This um, is this is I love Erica Badu. I love soul. I love hip hop. I love Neo Soul. I love it all. Um so this is a Erica Badu um, beat and her original song is um, God I should know this off the top of my head for some reason I can't you you know it if you hear it but this is for Erica Badu sweet well here it is <laughs> yeah satisfactory guarantee that's a promise you can check the directory find me under a goddess MC diamond in the rough call me rarity truly be surprised if you ever see your rapper thing don't play yourself you dig in your own grave body parts separated and scattered in bad caves nasty with the flow at a 50 of all shades swimming with the sharks of piranha we parlay san jose rays born in the ghetto swamp waters all fire no warmth in the winners not for beginners you playing up your luck used to hit licks for the thrill of a quick buck but bigger the picture as my age never differed it's economics i'm over heads like a bonded expressions moving methodic call it the catastrophic event in case you didn't get the memo i'm a beast with a pen come unleashed and unhinged crazy mannequin then some bruises to your ego bruce lee with a vengeance and thus before we get to other hand mommy ain't got no ambition but she'll fuck for a gram hold me hopper body proper but for me it's a pass my Engage in conversation, probably rubbing that ass, yeah. But you already knew that truth. Talk a lot of this and that, but you don't show no proof. Rambo, wanna be that spit that combat troop? That's word to my maternal to burn some this inferno will penetrate. Oppositions flow straight, disintegrate. If away, I'ma find the wheel, check the skill, dog. Real raw, spitting bullets like I got a steel jaw. Yeah, yeah. Oh my, my, my. I feel so high. My money gone, but my heart so strong. Ba ba dee ba 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 ba. Dublin keeps burning. Dublin keeps burning. I love to play every day, every day. Back at it, you can find me in a treasure state. How you elevate the situation, watch it escalate. I cannot relate, your whole perspective is invalid. Queen of the no coast, stage life, that's the palace, no treasure hunt. I've been on a steady run, Xing out the naysays, praying for the death of sun rays to restore fate. Don't leave my conscious oblivious. Always try to mirror what I feel in the interior, no superior complex. Let's for an object, not the refuge for security or nonsense. Words Touch people, low vibes, never contact All black fitted with the ball cap Flawless, the resolution is a revolution And regardless, ain't no method to my madness Approach with caution Boxing with my demons and I treat them like they featherweights Doing combos, hell, Mary's got to regulate Better days ahead like I see visions of the future Early bird get the worm, I wake before the rooster Ludicrous, transparent, grounded without leverage Lyricists giving generous portions of true beverage, yeah in the 
can't stop, won't stop, etc. Took a lot of losses, but it gave me more endeavorous. Slave to the master, break chains, not an active. My pain is the rainfall. Drink like the rainfall. Sing like a mange cloth. The clock ticks. Will you free your mind or will you remain a hostage? Yeah, 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 yeah. The clock ticks. Will you free your mind or will you remain a hostage? Yeah. Oh my, my, my. I feel so high. My money gone, but my heart so strong. Ba ba do ba do ba do do. Dublin keeps burning. Dublin keeps burning. I love to blaze every day, every day. I also can't sing, so don't judge me. <laughs> yes, I think you're doing just fine. Well, well thank you. I love that <laughs> scatting part. That was that was dope. <laughs> Um, so you have like a really wide range of, uh, influences, I can tell. Oh, yeah. And, um, I was just curious about like who your favorite artists are. So, uh, my, my, my top two favorite is definitely, um, Lauryn Hill and Amy Winehouse. Um, but, I mean, my favorites range from, um, gospel music. Um, I love some rock, like, if I go gospel, the Clark Sisters, um, um, Kirk Franklin. Um, I like Muse. If we go rock. I guess if that's considered rock, Muse. I love Tom Petty. I love the oldies, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Like my, I, I just love a little bit of everything. If it sounds good, if it makes me feel good, I fuck with it. Talk to my soul. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's cool. So you, like you just kind of pull it from everywhere, and yeah. you know, just love music in general. Yeah, that's super cool. Oh, <laughs> just shoot the camera over me, and I don't have a question ready. <laughs> I thought you had something. <laughs> uh, it's still on you. It's still on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Totally not awkward. Um, when performing live, um, like what was the, what was the, like one of the most memorable moments you've ever had? Um, let's see. I want to say this, but I know this person is going to get upset at me, but I'm going to say it anyways. Um, off, the, off the top of my head, the most memorable moment for me was um, doing a show and my partner, my music partner, Michael Madeline, completely eating shit on stage. And I mean, it was the funniest. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I know there should be this this magical, like, majestic moment, but that was literally the funniest and most memorable thing that ever happened on stage. If you, I've never eaten shit on stage, but I can't, like, just all eyes on you and just completely eating shit, and she owned it. But, oh, I will never forget it. I'll never forget it. <laughs> No, it, I mean it's part of it's part of the performance. Like, you know, our our last interview with Stoneman's Wade, their most memorable thing was some guy getting naked and oh, wow. had beer being poured down his ass crack. Oh, and oh I'm my like, god, that's the most memorable thing. They're like, yeah, it's the shit to you say, remember. but like, it, it happens, you know. So, <laughs> oh my god, I, I mean, I've never had a guy get naked and pour beer down his ass crack. Yeah, so, like, right? yeah. good for them. <laughs> so, like, yeah, that's cool. Um. What's what's probably like the most exciting thing about performing live? I think you have to. I think you have to be a performer to know that that just that feeling of um, when you're on stage and you're giving your all and you're sweating and you're like, I don't know, you're just like full blown into it and just having complete strangers just completely fucking vibe with you. Um, it's really awesome um, being able to share the stage with people that I looked I looked up to when I was a kid. Um, the most memorable, so that was one, definitely one of the most memorable was Mob Deep. Um, I got to open for Mob Deep and I got to meet them and talk with them. And it was, um, a couple months before Prodigy died. And, um, that was just, uh, cause I grew up listening. Mob Deep was like a huge influence on me. And I was just like, how are these guys doing this when I was a kid? Like, this is crazy. And, um, just, just being able to do that. That was, I'll never forget that. That was, it was awesome. Kind of like. You know, you just had this huge ad admiration for mm -hmm. these guys growing up, mm -hmm. and the next thing you know, you're like, I I've made it to the point that I can play was, with these. Crazy. I get to yeah, perform with them. Like, I mean, maybe not with them, but like at the same yeah. show, like with the same we, crowd. We held and, the same mic, so that counts for something. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. <laughs> 
if you um like you said like perform with them like if you could like collab with like one of your favorite artists who would it be oh that one is hard that's hard obviously if lauren hill was like hey i got this i would cry and probably spend months writing a song because i wouldn't feel like anything is good enough but there are artists like um ari lennox um her she's really dope lma um I just I really like working with R&B artists um, and I wish that my mother gave me her skills of singing um, because I can write like a mofo for for singers. It's rappers are different, but singers just have a a wider range. Um, And I just really dig. I'm huge fans of um, of R&B artists. Um, Let's see who else. Hmm. Also, if Snoop fucking asked me, I'd I'd fucking do that. <laughs> and That'd just be get amazing. fucking stoned as fuck. I probably wouldn't even be able to rap after because he's fucking <laughs> on the table, but fuck. <laughs> it's fucking Snoop. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I don't even rap, but I'd have to say, yeah, if Snoop right? wanted to be on something than I did, I'd be like, yeah, all right, all right. I'd do it. Yeah. Even Hell if yeah. you wanted me to hum in the background, I'd fucking do it, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, like, with your lyrical content in your songs, uh, most of the songs seem to have some sort of theme, mm-hmm. but the 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 range of the theme is, like, pretty broad. Mm-hmm. Like, you kind of notice you kind of bounce, like, from one little topic to, like, something completely different. Do you do you try to, like, more tell a story in your in, in what you're rapping, or do you just try to, like, make it relate relatable or... Or what kind of pushes the way that you write songs? What's funny is that I have, there's usually no intention um, when I'm writing. Um, it's how I hear the beat and, and it's how I want to write the beat and how, and, and I've had people, I've had conversations with people and they're like, you're such a deep thinker and all these things. And I'm like, when I'm, when I'm actually doing it, it has nothing to do with my thought process. It's like, and I guess it's a combination of thought process, but it's the beat. The beat does everything for me. Um, I want to write it. A certain way there are certain ways that I hear the song that I'm like because you can rhyme words with anything it's just how you say it yeah and to me that just that's that's why I've always had a fascination with words um, and making things fit that shouldn't fit together um, and so that's why I said I won't I won't notice what I did until months after because I didn't I wasn't intentionally trying to do it but then after the fact I'm like oh shit that's not a cool um, yeah. so um, and I guess on, on certain things um, I'm following a topic like I have a song called Fly Away. Um, it's it's an old, older song on my um, on my first project, and um, and that song was definitely intentional. Um, I had my topic in mind and and going off of my feelings and things like that. Um, and some actually the the songs that you have topics are a little harder because <laughs> you got to just stick with it. You have to stay in this box, and I just I hate being in a box. I'm weird. I just so so. A lot of your songs are are really kind of freestyle that come into fruition as being the song. Yeah, and you know, then, you, you kind of get an idea, you roll with it, mm-hmm. you mess with the words until you like them, mm-hmm. and then that's that's the song. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty cool. So it's probably like feels a lot more natural when they come about when mm-hmm. when you just hammer them out like that. I guess that maybe that's makes it a little easier to uh, memorize. Um, but again, I memorize it to the, it's the rhythm, it's the beat. The, the rhythm yeah. and the beat talk to me a lot more than the lyrics, I guess. Cool. Um, so this next song is called Moonlight. Moonlight. What's, what's Moonlight about? Moonlight um, was actually um, one of the first songs Swollen Souls um, did together. Um, Moonlight is just about, it's just a song about being free, I guess. Um, and kind of acknowledging you have issues, but still, still f- wanting that freedom, yeah. being free. I think a lot of people can relate. Yeah, to that. it's like it doesn't matter where you're at, where you are. Everybody gets the moonlight, and you're you're under it. Doesn't matter how you take you, that. You can't get out of <laughs> yeah, it. You're, like, you're stuck in it. Yeah. But it's you know, everybody's dealing it. with it. Yeah, that's cool. Well, let's hear it. All right. Again, I can't sing, so I apologize to you at home. Hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. And of course it's weed. It has the the fucking... (laughs) I like weed. (laughs) Yeah. Just joking. (laughs) Yeah. I'm 
underneath the sky Stars are the only guys Feel like I can spread my wings and take a chance of flight Higher height in the shoe Execute is valid, every motion has a purpose Movement is accounted Grounded by the earth and not in balance with my worth They say if you put in the work, you get what you deserve Daily I stay at it like a habit of an addict Climbing up this ladder, will I ever reach the peak? I'm a hard thing to handle cause the character's the heat League of the elite, watching the least cover the street As I embark on the quest, I make living not to see Figments I imagine, I imagine couldn't be Figuring the structure of this soul's anatomy Which is ironic, I feel like it's but what I'm battling Right in front of me but still can't get a hand on it Looking out for serpents in the grass, I hear rather than Hey, caught in the moonlight So my soul to the devil on the cold night I told him my secret, he told me to keep it I guess we agree it was my fault Why do I push you away? Why when I want you to stay? It feel like my heart is a maze Yeah, yeah Holding on, tight enough to never lose the grip Holding up my fist like I'm a revolution advocate Happy just to manifest the blessings I've been granted yet Saw the from the bottom, now the light is in the closer stretch Comes around, goes around, what you reap is next I'm riding a tidal wave with shallow rays and I expect If I fall into it, I'll try to fight in hell of rap Ten toes how I'm standing, not abandoning my whole respect Channeling my rambling, transforming in the inner lake Indirect approaches, cover by these vultures Do or die emotions on these tracks like locomotives I'm devoted to my craft, every rhythm of the audience Wait for inspiration, then establish all my dominance Lyrical with various statues, but never moderate Soul anatomy, one love, one mic One reason I remained on this hip-hop hype hey. Caught in the moonlight So my soul to the devil on the cold night I told him my secret, he told me to keep it I guess we agree it was my fault Why do I push you away? Why when I want you to stay? It feel like my heart is a maze Yeah, my heart is a maze Caught up in the moonlight You caught up in the moonlight We caught up in the, caught up in the Caught up in the moonlight I'm gonna go ahead and drink my PBR right now <laughs> Yeah I also think it's hilarious that I, I didn't, when I'm talking about my influences and have one of my biggest influences on my sweatshirt, I didn't even say their name. Outcast is awesome. Just saying. Can they see this? Can they see this yeah. sweatshirt? Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. How did I, it's fucked up. I want to say something. You yeah. lied to us. You're like, I can't sing. I cannot. I mean, I can. That was amazing. What are you talking <laughs> well, about? I feel like you're nice, but thank you. <laughs> No, you're doing great. This is super cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> really, really enjoying the show so far. It's been fun. Um, so Aaron's got a couple words we're going to uh, like to say out to the rest of the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, kind of other people want to get on the show and stuff. So if you are a musician, artist, comedian, maybe you have like a startup business or something like you're part of the community and you want to be on our show. Um then just hit us up on our website and go fill out the artist submission form and we will be in touch. Nice, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, so back to your, you and your music. Uh, with COVID, obviously things have been shut down. You know, Sucks. Uh, Are you already starting to like book things for this year in so, hopes that you can play live somewhere? So it's been... 
Touch and go. Um, as of right now, we have um, a show going to be booked on for St. Patty's Day up in Big Sky at the Sit and Spin. Um, and it, it may grow from there, but I'm going to just... Um, just get a handful of my buddies that I, I like. I enjoy hearing and and do something because people we need it. I need it. The people need it. Like we just want to hear some music. That's sweet. So the sit and spin. That's that's the laundromat up in mm-hmm. Big Sky. Laundromat bar. Sweet. So up in Big Sky. It, probably the only place in Montana maybe that you can drink while you're doing your laundry. Exactly. You should check it a- out and watch a show. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, exactly. that's the thing. A, a laundromat that's also a bar. Yeah. Yeah, I actually used to bartend there. It's it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That blows my mind. I didn't know such a thing existed. Uh, I don't feel so bad about not having a dryer. <laughs> no, I mean, you should, I mean, when you think about it, like you should be able to have a fucking beer with your fucking laundry. I don't know how more people don't have bars and laundry mats, but hopefully that'll become a thing. They need to combine movie theaters with that as well. They have that they in Big have Sky one as there well. too, dude. Big like, Sky has on. everything. Like a movie no, theater, no, bar, there's laundry nothing mat. nothing to do up there but, but <laughs> ski, snowboard, no and drink. So they have it pretty much everywhere you go. You can you can drink. <laughs> yeah, right on. It's it's fun. Uh, yeah, we just went into that new bar, uh, Tips Up, last week. It's kind of got like this that? 80s theme. It's uh, in the town center. And they oh, got a they got actually, a pretty good stage there, and that's that looks like it'd be a fun place to do do some live everybody's, stuff. Everybody's everybody's all weird about doing shows and stuff. I did get to play at the end of last year over at the Blue Buddha in Big Sky. Nice. Um, they had a little for their one year anniversary, um, and it was really cool. They had a, the stage outside, and so like different the families and everybody that's out there can come and um, and enjoy the music, and it actually turned out to be really fun. That's sweet. So hopefully they do more. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, things are starting to get wrapped up. You know, the vaccine's yeah. out. Everyone's really anxious to throw this behind us. Mm-hmm. But uh, unfortunately, it's a reality we can't. Yeah. So, um, you know, we all do what we can. But I know everybody's just dying. To, we're, just, we're ready. Yeah, we're all ready. And we want to yeah. be safe, but we also want to see fucking live music. <laughs> and perform live <laughs> yeah, music. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It, it just feels like it's been forever. It really <laughs> has. <point. laughs> it's like... And I'm like, is are we? Is this our new normal? Like, I hope that it's not our new normal. I hope it's just normal right now, and and it goes back to somewhat of fuck, just being free, <laughs> being yeah. the fuck I want, not wearing a mask. Right. But you should wear your mask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this next this next song is called uh, Shagalicious. Ooh. So um, <laughs> it kind of sounds dirty. What? Yeah. This is um. This is a new. This is one that's going to be on my newer project. Um. My hope. My buddy Sherbert. Um, actually produced this beat and um, sent it over to me. And um, it's like has this real funk, kind of funky eh, kind of thing to it. Um, And so this was definitely a fun song. It's a fun track to do. Yeah. Did you ever think, did it ever occur? And what's the preparation of commodities work? And is it gonna ask for my soul to return? And if I have to pass, am I destined to burn? King Kong, then you know my chest will hurt. I got that hunger deep down like the seed in the earth. I'm the demons I've been fighting, see the blood on my shirt. I'm awake, I'm alert, and that's a part of the perks. I got purpose. Got it on lock, lock, I'm locking locks, locked up. Swear I rock tops, that's a non stop. Sold the mad at me, one taste of your hook. I do it for the culture, for the love, and for you. Now when I say hip, you say hop, yeah, when I say hip, you say hop, yeah, hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop, when I say so, you say you're not to me, when I say so, yeah, you say you're not to me, so, and out of me, yeah, yeah, okay, it's round two, and if I happen to press, let me step up the board, give it a little finesse. I feel I'm in my prime, but still a waste of my best And that's a hard pill to swallow after that to connect Now I pause for effect and get applause from the rest This shit is so fun, I'm just having fun with it Sherbert said do it, so I did it Hardcore, do it for my people that supported on my art form I'm never torn between being myself or whatever the world can think Me and my world to sing, and that's enough for me Okay, yeah, y'all ready now? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? When I say hip, you say hop, yeah, when I say hip you say hop, yeah, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. When I say so, you say you're not to me. When I say so, yeah, you say you're not to me. So, and that yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, this is the last, this is me signing off This is me saying wake up, y'all been sleeping a lot Maybe I just lost my edge cause I've been lost in the straw And as an artist, it's unfortunate the price that it costs Maybe pride, maybe pride is in drive But humble left me neutral at a home and goodbye I've been searching for that fire and I'm glad it survived Got a hunger for them, that better in line, uh yeah. Ooh. This that shot of missions. So that song obviously is like your support song, you know, you're like, yeah, thanks, motherfuckers, <laughs> for all, all you pushed me through. Pretty much. So Pretty much. speaking of thanks, um, who do you who do you want to thank? Who's helped you along the way? Who who are some of the people you want to give shout outs to that um. you know? just love what you do and, and keep you doing it i want to give a, a huge shout out um to nickleby um who who definitely gave me was one of the only ones when i first moved out here um who gave me the opportunity and took me on shows and taught me how to perform um and and helped me with my confidence and and always believed in me and always pushed me i want to give a shout out to buckshot who um also did the same thing and um, let's see who else. Uh, Michael Madeline, uh, much love girl. Um, a trip, Vadi, um, P. Dell. Um, fuck. I know there's more, and I just can't think right now. It, I mean, really, I want to give a shout part out. We always put everyone on the spot. I know, and they're like, like, ah, shit, I wasn't prepared. But truly, I've been I've been blessed to have um, a lot of people that supported me um, through the years, and just. Um, no matter how much time I took off or whatever, uh, Montana as a whole has really just really supported me and um, and and kept me up there. And I appreciate all of you guys. Um, if you've ever bought my shit, if you've ever bought a shirt, if you've ever bought a CD, if you've ever liked something, if you ever shared my shit, thank you, for sure. Nice, that's that's a good one. <laughs> oh. Oh, so <laughs> he's always annoyed. thanks everybody. For, <laughs> thanks everybody for joining us today. If you like this episode, be sure to like it. You know, subscribe, share it with your friends, drop a comment down below. Um, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube to smash the bell so you get notifications when we put out Ding. our new content. And uh, um, also, we got an app. We got an app. It's the GU Radio on Android and iOS. Well, not iOS yet. Oh. I've got some bugs still, <laughs> but almost. It will be soon, so look out for it. Um, so uh, I guess, yeah, we got one more song. Yeah. It's, uh, it's called Back to the Basics. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Uh, so let's talk about this real quick before we wrap the show up, because uh, this is the end of the show. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's, let's hear what you got to say about Back to the Basics <sighs> and what it's about. Back to the Basics um, for me is... Hip hop has, uh, music in general has always been just my saving grace. Um, and I remember when music was just, there wasn't a bunch of smoke screens and there wasn't a bunch of all this other shit. It was just basic, basic fucking hip hop. And people said what they had to say over a fucking dope beat. And we all fucking vibe with it. And there there was no need to be half naked. or And if you want to be half naked, be fucking half naked. I'm just saying... That was the hip hop that I appreciated. Um, and I wanted to, to pay tribute to that of just um, a song with a good beat and good lyricism and that we could all vibe to. So Sweet. that's, yeah. No, that's super awesome. So um, yeah, I guess if you guys like this show, check out Soul Anatomy because yep. she, you can find me on Instagram. Super awesome stuff. Um, at the.true.soulanatomy. Um, come and say hi. Come and give me a follow. <laughs> All right, everybody, know your scene. This is Soul Anatomy, and this song is called Back to Basics. Yeah. Lauren Hill said it best. She said, We gotta, in order to rebuild, we gotta destroy. And I just, I feel like, in order to get back um, to the hip hop that I love, we gotta go back to the ABCs of it. And, and so that was the purpose of this song. So I hope y'all dig it. I hope you vibe with me. Definitely slowing it down. We'll do a little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You 
you can lead a horse to water but can't make him swallow I am a citizen of freedom but I lack the model Materialize, I'm never disguised Micromanaging my efforts, every thought is derived From a dark, dark place, in a deep, deep hole Where the bad things live, and evil calls home I'm pretty sure it's miniature and then it turns full Now the predator is headed for the place on its throne bow In the presence of a great one Praises to the Lord for the light I'm embracing, I'm chasing this shit for a reason Or will it be a waste of time? Just another rapper, bad job, and a waste of mind. Collateral damage beyond repair. I'm full of weapons equipped with only cause to spare. Cause this is my passion. This is what I do best. They can't figure me out like a cube that is Rubik's sign. Going back to the basics. Back to rap, having a max impact day. My body and soul, so body and mind. Sit back and recline. We going back in the time. Going back to the basics. Back to rap, having a max impact day. My body and soul, so body and mind. Sit back and recline. We going. I should notify the public. You don't stand on two feet like legs of double duchess. More than nothing is left. I'm everything I profess. Let's not dabble in what could have been or distress on it. Honesty is the policy with my signature. Points to prove not my psychology or my character. Trust nobody, just a must. Then daddy, when you think that a person is enough. Yeah, I cast shadows, my back handle, the cold scramble, control panels, withhold ample, need to know basis, peep the flow sanction, me, I, no, I, come with no comparisons, life's rich like a billionaire inheritance, I'm off script, impartial to bullshit, audio misfit, revisit the hit list, it's animalistic and very persistent, what, yeah, going back to the basics, back to rap, having a max impact day, my body and soul, so body and mind, sit back and recline, we going back in the time, going back to the basics, back to rap, having a max impact day, my body and soul, so body and mind, sit back and recline, yeah, yeah, visualize the future in the hand of minds, didn't get the coordinates to meet and got the grade of minds, piece together these fickle and proud ways, deliver like that sneaker deserving I feel name, but here I go again, day into the night falls, told his best to love and lose to amuse my love and all. Sometimes I pulled at the lack of what they see in me. Sleeping on the soul like my boys ain't TNT. Boom. Big Bang Theory. You got the proof. Turn the hypothesis into a deep rooted truth. Along the troops, it's time for the sacrifice. By time, respect is a merchandise. I'm known to be the merchant type as I emerge a fright. These rappers starving for attention on the hunger strike. I'll always be the underdog. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's just logistics of a proper existence. Yeah. Going back to the basics. Back to rap. Having a max impact day, my body and soul, so body and mind, sit back and recline, we going back in the time, back to the basics, back to rap, having a max impact day, my body and soul, so body and mind, sit back and recline, we going back in the, yeah, 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 I'm going back to it, what, what, I said I'm going back to it, my body and soul, so body and mind, sit back and recline, we going back in the, yeah, 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 I'm going back to it. What, what? I said I'm going back to it. My body and soul, so body and mind. Sit back and recline. We going back in the time. Soul anatomy. <laughs>